Oh my gosh, your face. I miss your face. <laughs> okay, sorry, sorry. That was just, you know. Had anyway, to we had an eBay open, and that's why. And she's like family. She's like family to me. Awesome. She <laughs> is. <laughs> okay, so we're going to talk. I'm going to talk about jeans, women's jeans today, because I think it's a brand that I didn't know anything about. Um, and it turns out that it's a really high end brand. So it's called Jess Cavalli. I don't know if you can see. I don't know if you can see that. Um, let me try the, let me try the, the tab. Oh, it's so dark. Let me see, let me see if I can get the light over here. Is that a big letter? Is that a black? Yeah, it's, if you look it up on, on Worth Point, it'll, it's just just, so J-U-S-T, and then Kavali is spelled C-A-V-A-L-L-I. Oh, if I hold it back, maybe it's, whoops, it's really studded. It's like, it's super studded metal studs. And then on some of the studs, it's got little rhinestones. So this is the back and then this is the front. And okay. it's got that, it's got that distressing that they do at the, you know, at the manufacturer. So it kind of looks like a brown overlay. It's really cool. So these pants retail go for three fifty to four hundred dollars. I picked it up. I only paid two fifty on a on a twenty five percent sale. So I only paid like what two something. Two nice. Something. So I'm gonna list it as uh, probably about a hundred bucks best offer, um, just because I think eBay is a little on now on Poshmark. It'll go for a little more. So I'm gonna go one hundred and twenty five on Poshmark. And 100 bucks on eBay, best offer, because eBay doesn't go as high. Oh, and I guess it also has this thing, too. It, it has to have the little heart here to be, like, you know, the true brand. Cool. Oh, yeah, so it's just straight leg. It's highly coveted by our, our millennials um, or the really hip moms. <laughs> I'm not a mom, but I am hip. <laughs> Do you have that listed now? Uh, yeah, I just listed it now. Okay. When did great. you buy, Robin? When did you buy the, these jeans? Uh, I bought. Let's see. I bought. I see. I do a lot of escape um, bundling. So I found these. I want to say like two months ago. So it was in a box. The lady. It was like the second day of the estate sale. I walked in. Um, I didn't know anything about this brand, but I did see another brand. I saw a brand new Levi's men's Levi's that hadn't been washed with a tag. So I was really going for the Levi's. So I paid 25 for the whole box. So I had Levi's, two of these. Um, you make you mentioned something before. You said you pay 250. Yeah, the, meaning that I when you price out the box, it was like it was about 250 because it was 25% off the whole that day. It was the second day of the estate sale, so everything was like 50 to 25% off. So the box just, cost you 250, but included in there was how many pairs of jeans? Uh, a total of. I think six, six plus a couple tops for like 25. But by the time I got done, it was like 25 by the time I bundled. So that's why I'm saying, I, that's why I'm learning. So I was surprised you were showing this pair of jeans that you're saying 250 and then you're saying you're selling for a hundred. That's- Oh, that's $2 and 50 cents, sorry. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, 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 very good. <laughs> yeah, just trying to figure out how you're gonna do that. Mm. Just, <laughs> yeah. Right, good point, good point. So $2 and 50 cents approximate is how much I paid for each pair of jeans that was in a box that I paid for bundling price for about $25. Okay. So nice. Have you sold any others from the box yet? Yeah, we, we sold about two pairs of Levi's. Levi's seems to be a really uh, good brand to sell right now. Um, and I'm doing really well in menswear on eBay. Uh, posh, not so much, um, more women's wear on posh. And a lot of men's wear um, and sports jackets on eBay. Nice. So, yeah. How are the sizes? What were the sizes on those jeans? Uh, this is this is fairly small, so it's it's a size six. Um, the Levi's jeans were anywhere from what, what's a men like a thirty six to thir or to we had thirty six to forty on the waist yeah. for men. So. Yeah. yeah, it's very important on men's, of course, is the length and the way the waist. Yes. Uh, yes. Men tend to roll their cuffs where women like to have them hemmed. So it doesn't yeah. matter for the women. 
I don't know. Some of the ladies like the long jeans because if they wear heels, they like the longer jeans. So I think you're good either way. And then, and then the kids, the streetwear is really big right now too. So the cuffs the on the bottom of jeans, if they're distressed, I still, I still uh, sell them. Two key words, distressed and destroyed. If you have anything like that in your words, the kids go straight for it. So. Good, good. Orange jeans are a big thing. Yeah, they're, they're I'm write down. Destroyed. I never thought of that one. Yeah. <laughs> good word. Okay. Thank you, Robin. Yeah, you're welcome. Good, good tips. Okay. Um, who'd like to go next? Aha, uh -huh, Matthew. Hi, Matthew. Can you hear me? Yes. All right, perfect. I got a couple questions. Um, I've been with Worth Point seven months now, and I've definitely seen my sales increase due to the ability to find information on pieces that have sold on eBay and other sites that you guys have partner sharing agreements with. My questions are in more in general terms is how to maximize my benefits um, in those four categories of review with you, um, WorthPoint's company's current strategy and future goals, where's the company going? Because you can see as um, Robin was just talking, she focuses on clothing when I focus on fine art, science equipment, and I'm sure Elliot focuses on something unique, Joe does, Steve does, as does the other 21 participants. So my third question regarding that is, is how to expand searches um, on WorthPoint's database by drilling down the subcategories. And are you going to be setting up more subcategories to get more down into unique items or specific items when you search the database? Okay. Um, I would love to do like a one-on-one -on -one with you on that. I think that that would be more beneficial. Okay. Um, I'd be happy to schedule um, a private webinar with you or anybody else who's interested, just shoot me an email. But because um, I think that there's a lot of different um, angles you can go through on. I mean, the categories are so huge that we'd be here all day. So, so uh, yeah, that we, that's probably like I gave you like 10 seminars of yeah, right. a lot of but that was, you probably give you questions. So I gave you questions. Okay, I probably, They're good. They're good ones. <laughs> they are good questions. And I would love to do a webinar on that and go over because there's so much to learn on worth point and there's actually um a lot of changes coming so there's more rollouts and and bigger and better things as well so th those are great questions but it's too broad i mean there's yes, i agree okay thanks for your patience but do you have anything you want to share that you're selling on ebay right now um you know, I've been working with buying pallets from universities lately. You know, spring's coming. A lot of universities are selling stuff. Nice. Yes. Um, I've been, you know, I've been able to find a lot of, like I said, on worth point, I've been finding the most unique items from odd science equipment that I had no clue how to find any information on. And worth point, people were selling it on eBay, and then you guys had the data. And because of that, I was able to extract the data and be able to come up with a price margin where it was worth buying those pallets. And, you know, some science equipment's really unique. You know, it's it very niche orientated, which is hard. But if you get stuff with engineering, um, stuff with science, you know, you can do a lot of really nice profits. So I've been using universities lately. So that's where so my let me, coming let me understand. So these pallets you're buying from universities? Mm hmm from science departments? What they do is there's a couple of government websites out there that they are all linked to. And you just, Love it. You just join those sites and then you find the items and you click on them and they give you an Excel spreadsheet and you just kind of do your research using your guys' I know I'm giving away a lot of good info here. <laughs> but it's really good because you Don't basically tell. <laughs> they're able to take that information and those Excel spreadsheets or what's on those pallets and basically copy and paste that into your guys' database and a couple other databases. And it gives me an idea of, hey, can I make some money here? Love it. But they do take longer. You know, it takes a little longer than that one or two day flip. You know, you got to sit on the stuff but your profit margins are quite nice. Nice, thanks so much for sharing that with us. Yeah. That's good information. Any questions? <laughs> Great, okay. Well, um, I appreciate it, Matthew, and I look forward to speaking with you again offline. Where are you located? Denver, Colorado. Nice. We're outside suburbs. Uh, where, which suburb? Littleton. Oh, that's where my son lives. Oh. 
funny. Oh, I'll have coffee when you visit next time. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Um, yeah. Diane, what you got? Um, well, I'm not sure how to share my screen, but... Um, I don't see. think you can. Oh, okay. Um, so, well, I have a Dale Earnhardt jacket. Okay. Uh, I don't have it in my hand. Am I supposed oh. to have them? Oh, sorry. That's, yeah. I thought we were sharing our screen to show the list oh. of on eBay, but that's okay. Um, it's a um, leather jacket from, it's a Wilson Budweiser NASCAR jacket. And um, I, it's actually um, in perfect condition. I just, went away um, and I'm listing it for $199.95. There's been some sold on it for close to that, but I go high and then if people want to make offers, they can. Um, and then I also had a, a blanket that I've listed as well. That's, um, I don't know that I can even, I might be able to go find these things to bring up to show you. <laughs> okay. afterwards. But um, it's a alpaca blanket from um, the Andes and it's made of Viscune, V-I-C-U-N-A. And um, it's a reversible blanket as well, but the, the, the backside is not as beautiful as the front side and it has tigers on it. And I've got that listed for 195. Um, and I've had a few offers on that one. Um, so nice. You know, I always look for different unique things that I can sell for a lot of money as opposed to the, the short money. Well, what we could do is um, in our, when, after this is over, if you send me direct links to your items and anybody, this goes for anybody, if you send me direct links to your item and then I'll create a newsletter, like a blast um, to everybody that attended. And then this way we'll get direct links and then you can, you know, look at it at your leisure and, and learn from each other. Cause that's what it's all about. Cool. Okay. Sounds good. Okay, thanks. So, Steve, what you got? Pick me. Oh, you did. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Steve Casey. I am uh, 20 years doing this. I'm a big fan of the Crawford family. I have uh, two stores. Dana doesn't, Dana doesn't know this. Um, my regular store is, let's see if we can get this. Ah, uh, it's backwards. Oh, no, actually, it shows right for us. Good job, yeah. Steve. <laughs> oh, you, you know, I got my, here's my assistant. <laughs> Good job. I love it. Okay, that's that's uh, Vanessa Wood, Vanna White's younger, stiffer <laughs> And my, uh, <laughs> my other store is uh, something Matthew Leibowitz might be interested in. It's called Budget Medical. And it's pallets of similar to what he's buying, so we buy from other auctions. One of which, well, there I'm in uh, Arizona, and one of the uh, sites that we buy from is in Denver, actually, mm. uh, Texas, Arizona, Southern California. If you get, uh, you have to be careful with the medical stuff. Um, the guy I partnered up with is just. He's a genius. He's taken nothing and turned it into this vast warehouse of, of, of things. And as he progresses, he learns which items are and such. It's just it's marvelous, fantastic working with him and for him. And uh, it's right up your alley, man. It's right what he does. I mean, we load up trucks and trailers and head to Vegas or Denver or wherever. It's kind of cool. My other store is, might be something for Elliot. He was talking about it earlier, Elliot Davis from Orlando. I, I spend 15, 20 hours a week working at Budget Medical. I spend 15 hours a week doing my store. I have become a big fan of going to Goodwill outlets. Mm -hmm. 
commonly called the bins. <laughs> and uh, here in Arizona, there's two of them, Phoenix and Tucson, and they are honey holes. They are unlike uh, a lot of other uh, critiques I've seen of other places. And it's all small stuff. I mean, I just list it, forget it. I maintain the site and so on. But, you know, I got like 600 items and they're $20 items. And I just let them sit there and, you know, keep promoting them and keep doing everything. On uh, Friday, I went and I spent, among other things, my three biggest stores were, I spent $3 for a pair of Doc Martens. Nice. Clean them up. They're 60, 65 bucks. I should get plus shipping. I found a 1990s Levi Strauss denim <laughs> cowboy hat, buddy. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah. And there's like, uh, who knows, you know, 60 to 100. But what I'm really proud of, I scored that box right there for $5. This box contains 93, well, there's 91 now because I've sold some already, of, remember those? Crown Royal. Oh, Crown Royal. Okay. People, you know, you store your coins, your stash in former days and so on. Steve, is that what you're looking at me for, for the Crown Royal chest? No, what I'm looking at you for is a way to be able to get, I got $10,000 worth of inventory in my wow. private, in my personal store. Yeah. And I've got less than $800 invested, plus my time. Okay. So it's just, it's all, it's great, man, even promoting and everything else. I have nine of these. This one is right now with five days left on an auction is at fifteen dollars and fifty one cents. Nice. So, What'd you yeah. start the auction at? Uh ninety nine cents. Nice. Just so I get the build up and sure. I got four and, days to go. I got nine and, uh, where did you buy all those? Like for example. That's why I was telling you the uh, Goodwill's clearance outlets. And I know there's one in Orlando. Oh, you know. I, have one, I have one where I can spit and it'll hit it. Well, <laughs> don't yeah, spit on the stuff you're going to sell, but you no, no, just yeah. great. Yeah. Uh, and uh, I think there's going to be, of those three items for, you know, approximately $10, I think I'm going to score about 400 bucks. That's a good, that's a great idea. See, that's, that's, I think so far a few good ideas, but that's one of the top because that's yeah, you, place, just, you, know, I mean, you never realize what, you know, you may go in and, and end up, buying something you gave to them originally you know oh yeah i've seen i've seen stuff there but it's fun man i mean if you're in the, the atmosphere that i'm in it is fun i mean i know some of them are a zoo and really nasty yeah but, um what i like is is what i got i got lucky with this one good sure. job on the royal crown bags is there a difference in price in the colors yeah, there's, there's all kinds of, which I found out from a little bit of uh, research with, oh, I'll say Worth Point and others. <laughs> uh, Good job. <laughs> thanks, man. Um, yeah, that one, this is a special, <laughs> special reserve, blah, blah, blah. And then there's these that aren't so extra special, but a lot of five of them I'm going to get, yeah, they're gold with the gold uh, cords and uh, crown royals they're real this one's real quality i'm an expert now i don't even drink okay mm. but uh you know that so all in all and then there's the regular purple ones green ones brown ones and so, on. so it's kind of fun it's easy to list i mean you list one and then all you got to do is press sell, sell similar and just keep going you know Nice. Like line. Yeah. That's a good tip. It's you know, not I didn't save excellent. All those from college days. <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, they're always laying around again in the outlet. That's oh, you know. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. We're spying on someone. <laughs> yeah, I never saw. Oh, Holly! It's Holly's screen. How did that happen? Holly, your screen is showing. Okay, oh. hold on. This will stop other screen sharing. 
Do you want to continue? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Hold on. Let me figure this out. Um, now I got now you got your life story there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the Dana started. <laughs> So now, are we? No. We're seeing your screen, Dana. Okay. So someone's coughing. Mute That's your Patricia. <laughs> <laughs> That's Patricia. Mute That's... your microphone. Okay. Stop share. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. We got it back. I mean, at least I did. I got my screen situated. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hello. We're all on the side. Sorry about that, Steve. But it was Holly's fault. <laughs> no, I got no problem. I, you know, I know you make a lot of money, and now I know exactly. Well, that that was a I, bad month. <laughs> uh, you had a good month, a good week this week. Yeah. Uh, uh, Elliot, you're not going to make that much selling stuff out of the bins. No. Yeah. I do want to share, you know, I'm the newbie in this group, not only from the standpoint of being here for the first time, but also the fact that I just started doing this, oh, I'd say a month and a half to two months ago. So you guys have a wow. lot of, a lot of tread on me. But you know what? I can learn a lot from those people, and I have already today. Um, you know, I, I retired about a year ago and took a year to travel, and now I'm looking for things. And being an accountant my whole career, I wanted to do something away from numbers, and uh, here I am figuring out margins and profits. So I'm not too far away from it. But um, yeah, you know, you'll, you'll, you'll start, start using start. spreadsheets pretty soon, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> so far, I you know, as I said, I was I was telling Dan before that I, I just have. Um, a lot of stuff at home that I'm starting to look at and say, what's his value? Uh, I'll show you one thing that my, my wife gave me that she got as a gift. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see it. It's a pair of opera glasses. Come this way with it. Yeah, there you go. Okay. It's a pair Back of up a little bit, yeah. It's a uh, mother of pearl glasses. Ooh. Uh, I looked up, I couldn't find exact, but I saw some comparables. I listed it at $95. Oh, Unfortunately, I'm down to almost like $45 now. And I haven't had any offers at all for it, you know? And I'm just saying, is it is it just the wrong type of item to be able to sell? Or if I, if I, did I, I described it very well. I have a good friend who I'm learning from and he showed me good ways to be able to describe it, take good pictures to um, right. pair it quite well. And uh, I have sold a few things since I started last month, which I'm excited about, that's why you know, these things are exciting for me. Um, yeah. but, you know, as I say, this is just one example of something that has been sitting there. I have a few other things that I listed, um, <clears throat> a battery operated corkscrew, um, 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 another a, a, a jigger for, for mixing martinis, stuff like that, that were in boxes, never, never open. Do we have back here opera glasses though? Yeah. Um, you said you started at $95 and it down to 45 In what period of time and why did you reduce it? Well, it kept saying to me, it kept popping up, you know, you'll get, get maybe more hits if you sell it, reduce it by $10. $10. I never so, do that. I'm just Elliot, concerned. Elliot, on your, on your glasses, are they vintage? You know, as I looked at, I, again, I'm learning how to read things. I'm looking at what the labels show. Um, there is a there is a marking that says Carpentier glass <clears throat> on the top. Um, I'm trying to get to it right over here. That's all their shows from the standpoint of age. My my wife said she got it from a, a dear aunt of hers that um, that uh, quite a long time ago mm. uh, to 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 hit a, a specific date. Uh, it's hard to say. And then also I've seen quite a bit of it on on eBay. Uh, be honest with you today, I, I, I learned something I, I never knew about Worth Point until today, and I plan to go on to it as soon as I'm off, so I can start seeing. Well, I'm going to give. Group. Don't don't do it yet because I'm going to give you a coupon code. You can get uh, the first month for half price. Oh, I appreciate that. That's so much. You'll send it to me by email. Yep. Perfect. Thank you so much. And um, the other thing, it's a big box, so I'm just going to show part of it. I was just mentioning before. This is something. It's a it's a juicer. It's a Krups juicer that um, someone gave to me and said, you know, do what you can with it. And uh, I looked uh, up the price that it was showing and it's quite expensive. Not never been out of the box. Uh, and I'm listing it. I listed it for $247 free yeah. shipping. I've just listed it about three days ago, two days ago, gotten some views on it. Um, it would definitely be the biggest item that I'm selling so far in terms of dollar value. Um, I took a lot of good pictures. I, I set up a nice area to take pictures that make it very clean. 
I'm, this is such a great learning experience for me. Everything I'm doing, I'm, I'm, I'm learning. I got, I learned the, the hard way indirectly uh, that my PayPal address, two people have tried to already scam it, that um, I've had to, you know, somebody bought a camera for me for double the price, but wanted my PayPal address. So that was something that I said, you know, that's not something I want to happen because you can get it right from the listing. So I'm learning, you know, thank God I haven't made any bad mistakes yet. But uh, these webinars are going to be great. And anything else I can, I can get in terms of, uh, you know, I even went to the library and got eBay for dummies. But uh, <laughs> that's, that's just too much, too much reading, you know. So, yeah, you're uh, better off going to Dana's meetings in Orlando. Okay. Well, well um, actually, I have one in Gainesville. I don't know how far of a drive that is for you. About two hours, approximately. Um, it's on the 20, let me go. It's on the 27th in Gainesville. Okay. Do we, what's at 11. 11? 11. 11 to 1. It's okay. the free, well, it's, with, it's at the post office. At the post office, okay. And, and Elliot, are you selling on any other platforms or is it just eBay at this point? Oh, sorry. Starting with eBay, just starting with eBay. I know there are others that um, like let go and a few others. Um, but I'm, I'm focusing on, on learning on eBay. I think yeah. that gives me the most, uh, most ability to learn. Um, right. Sure, if you have a, you know, I have a question to ask. Uh, my wife wants me to sell her wedding dress. How easy or how hard is it to sell a wedding dress on, on eBay? Oh, well, talking about that. Okay, so I just got 241 wedding dresses from a closeout. And um, it's a whole new niche for me. And it is a process. So... So my photo area is not, it's not very, it's large. Like I can do coats and things like that and hard goods and surfboard, but it needs to have the width. So now I'm going to buy a new screen so that I can, and have it come out so that I can have the dress when you show the back. So it's important to show the back because most brides want the back to be the most seen because when they walk down the aisle, I've, I'm learning all this. So so yeah, so it's going to be interesting. I don't know. Uh, I would say it's probably a little more difficult than like your flat lays and a flat lay is where you take an item and you lay it flat and you take a photo over it. Right. Um, or like in our case, we do mannequins. Um, I'm finding also a challenge with the strapless dresses. Like I'm trying to figure out how to, so I'm figuring out all that. So uh, that's probably going to be a video in itself <laughs> because <laughs> 241 dresses I've got all like from vintage to boutique so high-end boutique and it's a challenge it's gonna take me a minute because but I'm not I I'll put I mean the investment was really just a couple hundred bucks because this storage unit was just basically they were gonna you know they were just gonna toss the dresses in goodwill and I was like hey look I can give you a good deal plus I can do the footwork in the sense of getting my truck there and helping you move the bad stuff out and I'll and payment, I'll take the good stuff. And so that's how we did the deal. Um, so yeah, so I would say it's a little more difficult than like, you know, regular clothes and hard goods, you know. My specialty is vintage hard, good, hard goods. So your glasses, I just looked up on Worth Point and I, it was a quick, so I don't have all the details. If you have good photos and uh, free shipping, I bet you could sell those for anywhere from 89 to $79. I would bump the price on those because they look, fairly good the mother of pearl looks a little more unique than just the white it so is. i don't know i'm just it's just a it's all learning it's all learning it is yeah it's a plus it even comes with a little case oh yeah <laughs> very nice very yeah, nice i agree and as i said it's it's uh they if they've been used they haven't been used in a long time and i we checked it out we saw that everything works that's, that's yeah good that's what I'm, you know, that's what I'm making sure when I have used items that I make sure that you're not selling something that uh, doesn't yeah. work. Well, you're going to, you're going to hear terms, Elliot, of like long tail and short tail. So some of your items are probably going to go faster. Like your crups will probably go faster than your opera glasses. Yeah. So just know that if you're willing to go for the long dollar versus the short dime, just put sure. the effort into it, you know, and, and since you're beginning, you're kind of at a really good stage of doing this because there are so many apps now between WorthPoint, eBay, all the other places you can sell, um, and so many videos on YouTube of beginning 101 eBay. Yeah. But the biggest thing I would tell you, since I'm a big meetup girl, I would definitely go to a local meetup. Now, I live in Sacramento, 
and eBay headquarters is in San Jose. I drive that three hours once a month mm -hmm. just so I can get in there and get all the information from, you know, I'm a smaller seller compared to some of these people on here. Um, but the information is, is valuable. Yeah. From the shipping, you're, for what I find with most new eBayers is that the shipping is the most confusing. So, you know, if, if Dana's having a, a, you know, a meetup about shipping, I would certainly try to make that effort because then you can get the, I, don't, I call them good fails because we all fail, but those fails then lead us to the next win. So yeah. I don't know. I, I would totally push the meetup for sure because I mean, you're going to meet so many different sellers. Not everybody sells on eBay that comes to our meetup. They, you know, we have Amazon, we have Poshmark, we have Marketplace. I mean, I know a guy who's making uh, six figures just on Facebook Marketplace. I, it's a little sketchy for me, but, but he does really well. So, and he, he uses WorthPoint. I, I think that's the, the difference between getting your information from a good source because you you need a, a source that's trustworthy in that sense because I need to make sure 10 years ago when it sold at 120, it's probably worth two times that now. So, and then like in, um, I think it was, is it Michael, the guy who's selling the medical and the science stuff? Yeah. He's got very long tail items that are very unique. And I'm sure some of those prices go into like, you know, five figures plus six figure, you know, like those kind of things. Cause those, that equipment is so specific for a certain thing. So I'm sure when he looks things up, he needs to be very precise on things. So and yeah, you're, you're I agree also with Robin that um, once you do that research, like Robin just gave you the price on those opera glasses. Yeah. And she figured it out and your research is solid. Don't listen to those eBay um, messages that tell you, oh, you should reduce your price. You've already done your research. You know what it's, you know, you might need to rethink that in a year or six months if it hasn't sold, but not so soon. Okay, yeah. that's a good point. You're right. I, I guess I'm. This is the learning curve that you know I didn't know that you know eBay definitely wants to sell because they want to get their their money. So they're right. going to say you know based Reduce on what, it. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because remember, eBay is all about profit, right? We we are. They can't do anything without us, and we can't right. do anything without them. So yeah. I would say promote it. I would promote it. Like I figure out the promotions and I do anywhere from 2% to 7%. Uh, some of them get really ridiculous at like, I've seen it at 22. I don't think that's necessary. Robin, he might not know what that means. Oh, on your, on your eBay, there's a place where you can promote your items, which basically just puts it at the top of the search. Okay. Um, and because opera glasses are not like a, a highly congested, you know, niche, it, it would just pull it to the top of the search. So, okay. You know, um, but again, if you need those kind of videos, they, there are videos out on YouTube that tell you about promoted listings, yeah, promotion, yeah. market manager, those kind of things. So yeah, it's good to as a good to know anything, anything <laughs> as a starting point uh, is good to know. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, Robin. I'll give yeah, you a no free one if you want. Well, I think we need to hear from Lewis. Yeah, come on, Lewis. All right, can you hear me? <laughs> There you are. How are you? Good, good, good. How's the weather there? It, we have a sunny day for once. We're in the, uh, I'm in Aurora, which is a suburb of Chicago. Oh, nice. Yeah. We've had a cold winter, but we're doing better today. Nice. So I guess I, I'm joining, a, I'm done with uh, selling on eBay now for less than a year. And this past month, uh, I went to, I got an opportunity to buy a couple of pallets of display merchandise from a vendor at the Chicago Home Show. Oh, cool. Yeah, so they're, they're coffee mugs, they're salt and pepper shakers, wow. nuts, and cookie jars. I've got uh, about 31 boxes of them, and I've gone oh. through four of, about four so far. So I'm a little overwhelmed in trying to get them up and listed. And that's where I, I guess my question is, how can – I, I can do when I do them, when I list them, I can do about maybe 15 a day. Is that good? Is it bad? How? It just seems like it, it's going to take forever for me to get these all listed, but maybe that's okay. I mean, uh, Robin, you've got 20, you had 200, uh, what was it? Um, 241 drops. <laughs> well, I guess my first question would be, um, are they 
are they same? Like, are they similar? Like, are they 10 of something, 10 of something, 10 of something? Like, are they the same pattern? They, they put a, a name on them. Like one of them is Zoe's, what was it here? It's, it's called uh, Zoe's Beach. And there are three mugs that have beach things on them. They're very, they're similar, but they're not exactly the same. Oh, they're not Sometimes exact. they, okay. they, they well, when, when I can put a variation together, others, they don't work that well. Yeah, um, yeah. yeah. Well, I'd say the easiest thing to do is to create a template. So yeah. go to the template section and get your templates made ahead of time. Like just call one template mugs, call one template cookie jars, and then have all of your shipping information and all of that under each template to make life easier and your right. listings go faster. Yeah. It's just take, trying to take the pictures and create the money yeah. for it because Zoe's Beach doesn't mean anything to anybody. <laughs> it means something right. to oh, good. It could. Zoe, because nobody cares about Zoe. <laughs> and it might be as easy as changing your process, too. So, like, maybe one day you do all pictures. Right. One day you do um, your your title and description. The next day you, fill, you know, throw them all in. You know, you can save them as drafts. So you could put mm -hmm. all your pictures in once you do them and then go back and, and work on it. So... Instead of system. Like stopping, starting, stopping, starting, and that's going to take you longer. So, and the thing is, everybody, there's no one size fits all. So you need to just like absorb everybody's tips, and then you right. create your own. Because every every system I've learned is different, and what works for me might not work for you, you know, and or Diane or Robin or any of us. So sometimes it's better just listen to how everybody's doing it and then say, okay, I'm going to, I'm going to try it. And then you'll come up with a way to do it for yourself and then take a step back and say, okay, how can I simplify this system? So you're constantly re-evaluating your system because even I do that and I'm still looking at ways I can get better and faster and improve and you'll come up with a solution. I have a question, if I can, for a moment. Um, being so new again, I keep mentioning that I'm being, lim I'm being limited as to how many of the same type of item I can post. What is the time frame? Do you know offhand anyone? Like I know that I try to list. Um, I had an issue with a camera. That I sold the camera, then I tried to list another one that I got. I had to pull off uh, because there was that hacking issue, and now I'm trying to list it again. And it says you can only list so many of a category over mm -hmm. a period of time. What's and uh, Louie, you've just been on for less than a year. What was your time frame of being able to list more and more? I went straight for the store, because the basic store, because it, it seemed like it give, gives me enough, 250, and I I'm, I'm only have about 210 right now listed, so I still have a little bit before I'm going to be above the next level. Uh, so that's kind of where I went with that. And for that, I found that uh, I get $25 worth of uh, shipping materials for free. So I go, okay, well, that, that's a free one for me. How do you do that? If I may ask, how do you get, uh, how do you sign up for, to a store? Just pull up. Go ahead. Maybe somebody else can answer that. I, just, I just type just, it in. Just type in Google eBay stores and you'll okay. find a direct link. That's the quickest. Oh, perfect. Okay. Uh, perfect. I'll do that. And uh, okay. That's very good to know because again, being limited, it doesn't give me a much, uh, if I have a lot of one, I do. I have something that I have a lot of, and I, I try, I say I can't do it all at once, you know, because I'm being limited. But I go into the eBay stores on Google, I'll see, you know, I'll, I'll be able to see how to be able to get um, myself uh, listing more and more of this stuff. Very good. So I got a little comment there, actually. I've noticed eBay's changed their rules where I actually had to double the size of my listing because they are posting or relisting my items automatically now every 30 days. So before I was using a website called Datamine to find, to manage my listings to see how long they were going for, but eBay changed the rules in March where automatically all my stuff was relisting and was using it my 250 base listings really fast. So I actually had to push my listings to the double size, which is like 500 or 600. Steve, is that correct? No, the next step is the, I think it's like a thousand. It's the premiere. Yeah, I, I have no choice because they're just relisting my items automatically and eating up yeah. all my. I hate to say it, man, but I had to make that same move a while back. 
and I don't use third, you know, uh, party at all. I'm yeah. done. I'm done. I just do right. uh, keep it simple. Uh, again, one of my one of my listings is is nothing but hats and you know t-shirts. Yeah. And the other store is nothing but medical crap. So make a template, stick to it, bite yeah. the bullet, get it over with. Yeah, you you know the other one looked pretty and all that stuff, but enough because yeah. he, where eBay's going, they don't want. Any third party inference, you know, at all. Correct. Yeah, because yeah, that's what I was using. And it was great. When they changed those rules, I had to completely yeah. recall my whole concept of how I posted and listed. That's so what the eBay, so the eBay store is what? In, 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 in layman terms, is some, somebody has a store and you hope you onto it? Yes. It's a 7-Eleven for the digital world is what I call it. <laughs> it's the best way to describe it for me. So you're putting it onto somebody's Good. store. Yeah, you still, you ha it gives you a storefront. A pretty storefront isn't what makes you money. I mean, it's still all about the way that you list your items yeah. and, and the quality of your listings versus, you know, oh, I got a fancy store and I'm going to make millions. You know, it's not, it's not about having a fancy store or anything like that. It's the proper setup of your store, though. That's what that's, type of what type of is there fees included for this type of operation? Yes. Yeah, so yeah. there's there's different um, levels of stores. Um, you just have to kind of go explore. It. If put in Google and do a search for eBay store calculator. Okay, I have. I think I do. Uh, okay, e and calculate. then you'll be able to weigh out whether a store is going to be beneficial to you. I generally don't recommend a store unless you have at least two hundred and fifty listings right. at fixed price right. for investing the money. But use that calculator because now there's different levels of stores, and then you can sure. determine. And one last, I, I'm, oh. I'm, I'm sorry, but I Elliot or Steve, mute yourself. You're taping something. Yeah. I'm sorry. Oh. Um, the question, a That's friend of funny. mine has mentioned to me that I should have a resale license. Is that something that I should think about as well? Because if I go to Costco, I can't and I want advise to buy you on that. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, uh, Ellie, you got great questions. I think, I think uh, you're an accountant. So I, I would just say like, uh, I don't know, YouTube is where I would go for eBay 101. You can always go to eBay business on Facebook for any of those kind of questions and the okay. LLC or the. Thing that you're thinking of i think you would just have to do your own research in whatever city and town you're in you got to do um a lot you can ask a local accountant or yeah. go to paypal.com slash irs okay and then you can get a lot of information there as well yeah i i i agree i i tend to say no thank you but i'm glad you told me that sure okay. um gonna... bob has had his hand up so i'm gonna unmute bob yeah and then hey yeah. Dana, can you Mute Patricia. I think she the, she is the one that is coughing. I think I don't think she can do it because she's been on a phone call. Oh, sorry. Okay, there. Patricia's muted. Patricia, if you want to talk, just click on raise hand. Yeah. So Bob raised his hand. I love that. I love that. <laughs> so Bob. Yeah. As I, as I try to figure things out here, <laughs> um, it was it was several years ago that I last sold. I had quite a few sets of dishes. And that was, I used the assistance of, I forget the name of the place, you sell it or something like that. Sure. Um, and, and those have all gone out of business. Yeah. And now, of course, I came across, I came up with, it's a fairly high end uh, radio receiver. These, these went for about 10 grand new originally, and they're still going for between one and two grand on eBay. And I've heard from people, but I don't know if they know what they're talking about, he is concerned about, okay, you sell it. And then somebody says, oh, it didn't work right. And then they manage to get their money back and they have the device and you've lost everything. So are there ways around that or? Just have them return it. Okay. That's the way around that. You just have them return it. Or lately on my electronics, I've been selling a lot of ham radios and I usually put on there, no, I don't take returns on those. Okay. So that's always an option. Um, Bob, I'm just curious, are you on a phone? I, I'm, on, I'm on a phone. Oh, okay. I, I, so I, I didn't have the camera on because of some other things, where, where local sales that I'm doing of, of some old comics and things. Okay. Uh, and so the place is, it looks like a bomb went off. So. <laughs> <laughs> but, you can see my video, it's a bomb back here. 
<laughs> yeah, I bought a but blackout curtain. If that works, that, this is the uh, this is the receiver I'm trying to sell. Oh, it's you yeah, lower your camera a little bit. We can. There you go. Oh, there you are. Yeah. You gotta you gotta lower your camera because all we see is the back door. There you go. Oh, okay. Nice. What's the brand? Uh, Icom. Icom. Yes, the R, I see R nine thousand. It's like I've even got a a a, 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 a not search. Um, every time one pops up on there, you know, in in my price oh, range, a filter. I, you have a filter. I get, I a filter. I, I get an email. So yeah, about one every two weeks pops up, and it, you know, it's it's going for what I expect to get for this. So gotcha. Nice. That's nice. Cool. So, have you sold other things, Bob? Uh, as I said, not directly as through you sell it. I had I had some family members pass away years ago, and of course the whole family keeps kosher. So we at one point we had six sets of dishes in there. Wow! And so so you know we sold four of the sets, and <laughs> but that was with with assistance. And those places that do the assistance, they don't exist anymore. So where are you yeah. located? Uh, Atlanta, Lawrenceville, actually. Oh, I'm going to be there next week. I do consignment. So oh, okay. if you get in a bind, <laughs> I'll be happy to sell those for you, Bob. Okay. <laughs> I was going to say, actually got a list of, of consignment people in certain cities and towns. So <laughs> That's right. Yeah, yeah. I, I've started a directory. So if anybody here does um, consignment, you definitely want to get on my directory. I think I have you, Diane. Yeah, you do. You do. And um, yeah, yeah, My wife goes to one of the consignment places and she'll like buy a couple purses and then the next season she sells them back and right. you know, buys one, so. That's right, I used to go to a consignment store like that and buy my kids clothes when they were little and then I'd take them back and make more money and that was a good system, so. Yeah, yeah. anybody else here does consignment? Speak up. No? It's something to think about for yeah. later because you can always say no. You know, when people bring stuff to you, you can always say no. So it does open up another opportunity for you. But I had, um, I listed an item today, or I listed a, a bunch of newspapers. I bought out a bunch of newspapers, and I decided to test the waters and list them at 99 cent auctions. So oh, wow. My husband and I, I just did like five of them just to test the waters on the Sunday funny papers. So it's only okay. like four pieces of paper. And I decided they're from 1914. Oh, so, wow. Yeah, so I, I, I've got millions of them. And so I decided to test it on these four papers. So my husband and I went to lunch today, and all of a sudden, cha-ching, on my phone, and it says, you just sold something. And I'm like, oh, I sold something. And I'm like, 99 cents? What did I sell? And here it was one of the Chicago Tribunes. And I was like, oh, my God, those auctions don't end for a week. Well, guess what I did? I listened. <laughs> Buy it now. Oh, no. <laughs> so I was like, oh, no. So I hurry up and looked at all the other ones. And yeah. All the other ones were auctions. So now I'm getting emails from the guy. Can you sell the others to me? I see you have others. Can you sell the others to me and combine shipping? And I'm like, go ahead and bid on them. They end in a week. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Well, see? Look, I mean, even seasoned sellers, we still hey. hashtag yep. suck yep. at our fans. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so, yeah, that was my big, uh, big mess up. But say, you know, it's like, okay, we go make money on something else. It's, it's yeah. the way it goes. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So pay attention. <laughs> make sure you double check that it's an auction or a buy it right. now. Yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. so if there's anybody else, there's a lot of other people. Oh, here's anybody else have a hand up? I don't know. Can you guys see all their blocks with their names? Yeah, I only see um, Bob was the only one who had a hand up, but I can see on my side. But maybe okay. you're the moderator. I don't see any other hands up. Okay. We got all the hands down. <laughs> So that's okay, because when I set this up, I really didn't know how it was going to work. So yeah. you guys are all guinea pigs here testing this, so I really appreciate it's it. cool. Yeah, yeah, it's great, huh? It's fun. So we'll come up um, open for ideas. Oh, I see chats working, too. 
Oh yeah, I don't know. I didn't like. Can we click on that, or is that just open chat? Uh, no. Oh, can, there it is. Yeah. Oh, I see it. Yeah. Oh, Steve Chessy, you are good. You are you are the official chat master. That's awesome. <laughs> well, the ladies got a thing, and I didn't want to. I appreciate it. And... No, that's perfect. So, see, we're a good team here today. Thank you. Always. You're the best. You should you should delete the part about making a mistake with the listing. Oh no, I make mistakes. I'm That's not... how you learn, though. That's right. Yeah, but you never see them. Let them see you sweat. You've been ah! talking how long now. <laughs> you gotta no. It's I still make mistakes. Everybody does, you know, and I yeah. still learn. I don't know everything. I'm still learning. Mm -hmm. We die. We stop learning, right? Yeah, roll over and die. Stop swimming. They <laughs> <I> drown. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, anybody else make any mistakes lately? Um. Well, you know, just switching labels. That's a, I, that's never happened to me. And I switched the label. Thank God, my buyers were both really very understanding. But I had to eat shipping four times. Like it was. Oh. Yeah. But it's okay because. It turned out to be a really good buyer experience and now I can use it as I had to refine my processing because it, it was I, it was a really busy Monday shipping and it just got out of hand and I forgot to write on the back of the label and I just I guessed instead of looking at my phone which I live on and it cost me so now I will never ever do that again so but it happens. I mean, yeah. I, I'm, I've only been, well, see, I'm a professional buyer on eBay. So. Oh, are you? Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Cause I do a lot of, oh, that's another tip. I do a lot of sourcing on eBay. So okay. I will go in and look for skewed titles. So for example, someone will misspell, uh, let's say for example, the jeans I just showed the Jess Cavelli, they'll put something else in and it will filter for me and I can find them for like $12.99, $12 and 99 cents free shipping which I don't even understand how they even make money, but I'll, I'll purchase them and I'll get, so I get packages to my house probably, or to my PO box, maybe 10 to 15 times a week. And it's all sourcing goods that I, either I can flip. Um, I do reseller boxes right from my garage. So I have, I have a lot of local brand new sellers in my area. Oh, so yeah? I open up my garage and anything that I call like bread and butter. So like I try to sell more vintage on eBay and higher brand items so anything that's bread and butter I will let them come and they can pay anywhere from two to three to four dollars a piece and then like like I just sold a guy a hundred dollars worth of ties that really honestly are never they're just gonna take forever to list and he just bought it because he wanted to just sell ties and I'm like dude I am your girl just come take my box give me a hundred dollar bill I'm good to go because nice. that was another uh one of those finds of the storage unit where it was just like this guy had a lot of ties like I don't know if he had a thing for tie I mean who knows but I was like I, I took the most expensive ones you know I took like the Gucci's and the coaches and I did all that I pulled it apart and then pieced it out so that's how I source so uh, you know, I don't have a lot of time to actually go to the bins or Goodwill just because I'm super busy. So that's another tip. If you guys want to source, go on eBay and sure. put and put in misspell words. Just play around, like put Disney and put two I's in, uh, two S's. You, I bet you'll find stuff and, and it's just been sitting there. So then the, the seller gets discouraged and lowers the price or it has best offer and I'll come in with five bucks. And they'll sell it to me. So it's awesome. Like, I'm like, yes. <laughs> So sometimes I'm buying for myself too. I'm not going to lie. I'm not, I'm not going to lie. Anything sparkly, mermaid, and unicorn? <laughs> <laughs> I can remember when Cupid dolls used to be popular. Oh, and we used to yes. sell Cupid dolls every which way possible. And mm -hmm. uh, stock up on them for a resell. So, yeah. But they Robin, is there still a site um, that you can use to search that? Um, was it like Typo Bay or something like that? Oh, yeah. I remember that. No, I haven't used that in forever. So that's something that you'd have to check out. It's, I forgot about yeah. that, actually. Yeah, you could. You went into the website. Oops, sorry. <laughs> and um, you would type. Okay. 
you would type in, I think it was typo bay or type eBay. Uh, yeah, it's, it's been too. such a long time. And you would put your like Wizard of Oz, which I collect, and then it would um, come up with all valuable things, and then you could just copy it out and put it in your eBay search. It was right. kind of cool. Yeah, yeah. I, uh, yeah, I don't, I, don't re I haven't used it in such a long time. I just, a lot of times when, I, when I'm doing research or I'm listing and I have split screens, I have three screens, so I... I'm all over the place. And sometimes when I just want to take a break from like listing, I'll just start playing with words and that's how, I, and like, you know, brand names. So then I'll, you know, like Gucci coach and misspelled. Do you ever tell people? Do I ever tell people? Yeah. Like if it's something you're not interested in, do you send them a message and say, Hey, Oh yeah. Yeah. You like, if I send a link. Yeah. Like uh, I'm in the Tiki world too. So, um, if there's a tiki mug that I'm not particularly interested in, I'll I'll take that link and send it to somebody in my ohana, uh, and they can buy it on the download. Or a lot of times they want me to do it, so I broker. Like I'll I'll buy it, then they pay the you know whatever, and then mm -hmm. you know it's it's the consignment in me. It, like I'm serious. Like I'm always doing some kind of deal. Yeah, yeah. you know what I mean? Because I love it. Because I just like seeing people get happy. Like if they have a collection, like I didn't know. Diane likes uh, Wizard of Oz. Now I'm going to be on a mission. <laughs> <laughs> I could take you into my Wizard of Oz room. Oh, yeah. Let's take us. <laughs> Let us go to Oz. Come on, Diane. All right, hold on. Oh, so the laptop, so it's, it's movable. I can take you. I got to just grab everything. Someone else talk till I get there. Okay. All right. Anybody else have a tip to share? Well, I want to know, Matthew, are, I know you're plugged in. Can you hear me? I want to know, like, yeah. when you're doing your, um, your, what, not consignment, you're doing bulk buying, right? Like, it's Well, I do a couple different things. My family was in the fine art antique auction industry, so I'm oh, sitting on a yeah. boatload of inventory. Nice. And that's kind of how it started. I, yeah. I was trying to help them clear out. We did a little garage sale, and everybody was walking around with cell phones, snapping everything. So I kind of just kept watching what they were snapping and I went back the next day and realized what I gave away. <laughs> oh. So I stopped doing that. And then I, one Christmas, just started to throw a few things online and kind of got the bug. Um, yeah. yeah. Been buying. Sometimes, as you know, we're in a generation where I'm in my 40s, but a lot of my parents are in that baby boomers generation and they're downsizing right now. Oh, yeah. And if you are flipping right now or you have the extra cash or you have watching the estate websites, I've seen more estate sales in the last two years and then years past, and I see them even growing more. Yeah. Um, right, obviously, yeah. we're in Colorado, which is, is a booming economy right now, too. It is. So a lot of I, older people are cashing out their big homes and they're mm -hmm. doing their retirements for the new people moving here. So I'm kind of like in a great location where shipping is reasonably priced because I'm in the middle of the country almost. So, you know, I can get good rates. Um, I got the sites like Steve does that I buy from, too. If it's from Austin or I like some of the biggest sites through Amazon, I buy some stuff once in a while. Uh, my background, obviously, is fine art uh, and collectibles. But, again, there's just so much inventory. And what I'm trying to do is I'm going to list my site. I sell it to a lot of dealers. Oh, yeah. Because I How I appraise is I think what the value is. I use WorthPoint to come up with a dollar sign, and I say, make me an offer. And I sell it to a lot of dealers that say, look, you're right. That's a $150 item in my store, but I can't make any money on it. So I'll offer you 50 bucks or 60 or 70 and 95% of the time I'll probably take it because nice. it's really stayed for so long that, you know, yeah. Yeah. So I'll, once I, in a moment, I'll list my eBay site. And again, dealers, I doesn't hurt my feelings when you make me a low offer because I know you're a flipper and I'm got no money. I got no problems putting money in your pocket too. Nice. All right. I'm in here. I don't know if you can see it. Oh but, yeah. But there's one corner. Oh my gosh, she's even got the yellow brick road. My daughter painted it across the top. Oh my god, I love it. Um, there's stuff everywhere. I don't know. Oh, you've got oh, my wow. two man. I love him. And these shoes, oh, the other way, these shoes are like phenomenal. I got those at a thrift store. <laughs> um, I'm crooked. Wow. Sorry, I'm crooked. 
I can't amazing. But there's some more there. There's a whole cabinet. Then this whole wall. Oops, get my head out of the way. Wow. So you, so right there alone, like if you ever get to the point where you run out of inventory and you want to downsize, you just go to your room. <laughs> I know. I do want to downsize. That's, there's more. That was just there. Now there's a hallway out here. Oh my God. I love, oh my gosh. Uh, let's see that. Oh, I love there. it. There's more down there. All books. Very um, cool. And then, hmm. I, the hallway's narrow, so I don't think I can get it. But that's a whole three bookshelves up and down full. And then the opposite wall is all the big, can't see it. Oh, yeah, like the posters. movie posters. Yeah. yeah movie posters and uh, tapestry. Wow. How long Very have you cool. been collecting? Since I was probably 15. Wow. Yeah. So those are like some of the shelves. Oh, oh I love the line cookie jar. That's fun. Yeah, I have the whole set of cookie jars. I have all the old um, bomb books. Wow. Awesome. So, so is anybody else like looking at stuff thinking like, ooh, that's like I think $29.99. Oh, that's $149.99. <laughs> well, I also have all the Marie me. Osmond dolls. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Way, that way. I have all of those. Wow. That's so, awesome. Cool. That's my Wizard of Oz obsession. Thanks, nice. Sharon. I could, I could take you around and show you my dust because that's what I call <laughs> Oh, there's plenty of dust in that room. <laughs> I got lots of dust. Nice. <laughs> all right. Well, um, let's see. How do I fix? Okay, back. All right, well, this has been very productive. Let's see, what time is it? 1.06 okay. p.m. my time. Yep. We're doing good. All right, so I really appreciate, does anybody have any final words they'd like to share? Thumbs up, thank Thumbs you. Thumbs up, thank you. <laughs> it was fun. I hope to see or hear from you guys soon. Um, yeah. Yeah, are you gonna that. do this more, Dana? Like, yeah. You... yeah, I think, um, I definitely want to do more of these. I just don't know what topics we're going to do. I wanted to do this test run today because um, I talked to Will. Um, Will's the CEO of Worth Point, those of you that don't know. And I told him about this. Um, of course, he's always open with my crazy ideas. Yeah. So I said, uh, I'd like to see how this works out because I think that we could have um, people show their antiques and then we could mm -hmm. look them up. Just like Robin gave us a great example of, of just looking something up. And then we can give you some advice on what we think, how we suggest that you list it, right. um, how you want to sell it. Or um, Worth Point now has what's called the vault. And I don't know if you guys have noticed it, but the vault um, comes with your membership and it, it'll let you um, document like all your fine art or things that you or your... Um, Wizard of Oz things, your things that you need to document and have a record of in case, God forbid, there's a fire oh. or if um, you need to put value on things so that later the kids can come in and say, oh, well, mom had this and it, you know, it's worth this amount of money. And so everything's documented and they, right now there's no limit on, it's kind of like a Dropbox. Yeah. I, you know, um, a lot of um, insurance companies have started. I was going to say, yeah, that's cool. Yeah, even the IRS uses WorthPoint. <laughs> so, crazy. Yeah, when they're doing a, a drug seizure, they're like, oh, that painting's <laughs> worth a lot. <laughs> Dana, don't forget, on this site you're using, the Zoom group, you yeah. should be able to show your screen. Like, if you want to walk us through, like, how you, you know, pick up information. You, you know, honestly, I didn't, well. I didn't know that. So yeah. I thought so that I had to pay extra for the webinar. I don't know I what package you have, but check into that. But you should be able well, to do demonstrations showing us how, if you want to do that, like how we look up antiques and price it out so there's a screenshot of it. Real quick. So, okay, so if I go. There you go. All right, so is my screen full? Is it full or is it just a little? I just see you. I need, there's a way, and we could talk at this uh, uh, another time, but there's a way that you could look at you and we get a side of your screen, so it divides it in I half. Do see, I do see some people on the side. 
but not you know everybody. But so I like your on top and your screen. Okay. Oh, perfect. There you go. Okay, so then, um, yeah, then I think this will work for the another episode cool. <laughs> where we'll just um, pull up the worth point screen. You guys can show something, and then we'll research it and give it a try. Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cool. Mm -hmm. All That's right. Awesome. All right, and if you guys have any suggestions, I'm wide open, but I usually do a follow-up email. Um, I also have, if you go to my website, um, this is my personal website, Power Selling Mom, and then this is where I have um, the information about looking for consignment sellers, and then I also have a database of um, eBay, the meetup groups. So I've done a directory of meetup groups all around the country, the world, actually. Yeah. And so it's in one place. And then, um, so that that's helpful. But Okay, that's cool. it. That's a wrap, guys. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> Yay. Thank you. I'll send a follow-up email with the replay. And um, if anybody has any questions or suggestions. And Matthew, I look forward to speaking more with you as well. So. I as well. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, guys. Bye. 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 Okay, now I got to figure out how to shut it off. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to figure out. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. How do we shut this off now? I've got it on full screen. Um, mute. Go to the That's tab. To the top right. Yes. The tab where it says the Zoom, where it has the Zoom, the first one. And meeting, that's it. Mm-hmm. It will, it will let for